Introducing the Wager RHW Remote Handheld Wireless Smoke Opacity Meter. Wager Company has been a leader in opacity testing equipment for decades, and the RHW series is the culmination of years of experience in developing rugged, accurate, and easy-to-use inspection equipment for diesel emissions testing. The Wager RHW meter is in full compliance with the current SAE J1667 test criteria. Everything you need is in this case. Components for the RHW smoke opacity meter include hand controller, sensor head, zero filter, verification filter, power packs, portable wireless printer, telescopic pole, flex nozzle, hinge pins, and carrying case. To install the clamp actuator, first remove the bolt from the handle. Then, Unscrew the two lock nuts from the threaded rod. Insert the threaded rod through the handle and attach the second lock nut to the threaded rod. Attach the adapter arm to the handle and insert the bolt. Finally, attach the rope hook to the handle. To attach the swivel arm to the sensor head, Insert the 3 inch push pin. The swivel arm can be adjusted to multiple different angles. Insert the 2 inch push pin when you have reached your desired angle. Insert pole to swivel arm base. To clamp the sensor head to the exhaust stack, pull the rope. To attach the flex nozzle to the sensor head, first remove the nozzle threaded protector. Screw on the adapter to the flex nozzle. Finally, attach the flex nozzle to the sensor head. To insert a filter into the sensor head, first unhook it, then squeeze the trigger on the handle to open the sensor head. It is important to hold the filter by its tab with the label facing out. Insert the filter at a downward angle until it's firmly in place. Note that each filter has a unique value. If you have multiple systems at your location, keep each filter assigned to its original meter. If you swap filters from one system to another, the filter verification test may fail. To begin the snap acceleration test, turn on the sensor head followed by the hand controller. Follow the menu by pressing the M button to perform the snap acceleration test. The screen will prompt you to enter in the vehicle and owner's information. Once complete, press the enter button. 
the system will begin to calibrate the sensor head. Please ensure that the sensor head is not in the stack and press enter. After the sensor head is successfully calibrated, raise the sensor head using the telescopic pole to your desired height. We recommend holding the pole vertical and use the ground to support the pole as you extend it. Carefully lower the flex nozzle into the exhaust pipe and clamp the sensor head to the pipe by pulling the rope. Once in place, turn on the engine. Depending on whether you have the three preliminary snaps enabled, you will be prompted to run through a series of three or six snap tests. Follow the instructions in the green lettering on the hand controller. It will direct you when to accelerate. Fully push down on the accelerator. When prompted, release the throttle by completely taking your foot off the accelerator. It is now safe to turn off the truck. Remove the sensor head by pulling on the rope and lifting the flex nozzle of the sensor head out of the exhaust pipe. Lower the telescopic pole by loosening the adjustment knob. For your safety, hold the pole vertical by stabilizing the pole with the ground before lowering the sensor head. Press enter on the hand controller to perform a zero drift test. If you have the printer on, you may print your test results wirelessly by pressing the print button. After your tests are printed, turn the hand controller and the sensor head off. This completes the snap acceleration test. To run a filter test, you will need the following. The sensor head, zero filter cartridge, the test filter cartridge, and the hand controller. Power on the sensor head and then power on the controller. Unhook the latch and squeeze the trigger to open the sensor head. Press the E button to begin the filter verification test. When prompted, insert the zero filter. Hold the zero filter by the label and at a downward angle, insert the filter. Press the Enter button to begin the calibration. When the calibration is complete, remove the zero filter and add the test filter. Note, filter numbers might be different than shown. Once the test filter is securely in place, press the enter button. If the test passed, press the home button and save the filter verification and return to the main menu. Remove the test filter and turn the power off on the sensor head and on the control unit and latch the sensor head once again.